Hi, I'm Doug. I'm Jason. And we're two Aussie dads. Hey Doug, you remember that episode not that long ago where I used that basil out of my garden and it had the holes in it? Yeah, that's the one that we used for the uh, Thai red curry with prawns. That's the one, that's yeah. the one. That was awesome. an awesome video. Hey, down there, and you'll find the link to that one. That's so cool. Well, my neighbour Kay rang up and she says, Jace, I have a problem with my basil. It turns out it's unholy. So what did you suggest to it? Well, initially I thought, hey, exorcism? But Kay said, no, I just want it gone. So I said, no worries, I'll look after it for you. And here it is. So what are you going to do with it then? Well, I don't know about you, Doug, but I like a bit of oil in my quickies. Yeah, you just don't get it on the cloth, right? That's right, it stains. So, and I'm thinking basil, oil, and hey, pesto, it occurred to me. Basil pesto. So, you up for a quickie? I am. Question is though, are you up for a quickie? So we've got a whole pile of this lovely basil here. So I'm just gonna quickly go through, strip off the leaves. Uh, we're gonna use about two fairly tightly packed cups, uh, which is pretty much all of this. And we can probably just fast forward through all this. Tell you what, this basil smells fantastic. So of course, we're doing our basil pesto. So of course we've got pesto. Um, no, 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 I'll try that again. We've got basil. Trying to do a pesto, so here we got some pesto. <laughs> so here's our basil. It's um, Kay's unholy basil. Uh, so far, I haven't seen any demons or anything hopping up around us yet. So we've got a couple of cloves of garlic here. Uh, we've got a couple of t tablespoons of walnuts. Um, half a teaspoon of sea salt. We've got some fantastic virgin olive oil. We've also got some parmesan here. You're gonna need about half a cup of grated parmesan. This smells fantastic, so I'm just gonna grate this one up myself. Um, we've got the Romano cheese here hiding at the back. I need about uh, two tablespoons, I think, about that. Um, and then that's about it. We're gonna throw it all in the blender and away we go. So I'm just gonna quickly grate up this. There we go. Very easy. Mm. Love the smell of that stuff. Oh, Romano, it's like Palmerston on steroids. A bit softer too. What do you reckon, Doug? A bit more, I reckon. You know us, we never measure anything. I reckon that looks about right there. Okay, let's go over to the food processor. We're gonna put the basil, all that beautiful unholy basil, which is going to soon be chopped within an inch of its life. The garlic. My walnuts. And the sea salt. i put them in straight up. So that's just going to leave the cheese and the olive oil. We'll get to them in a minute. Okay, we're going to want about half a cup of olive oil. Are you ready? I'm just going to scrape the sides down. I'm bad the cheese, I think. Time to add the cheese. So here it is, the final product, our unholy basil pesto. Um, you can see we've actually ended up with quite a fair amount. It's a nice big jar there, plus a pile here on the plate. We're going to enjoy this on some bread right now, uh, some beautiful sesame loaf. What do you reckon, Doug? 
looks fantastic, but I think, you know what? There's a recipe that I've been wanting to try that has some chicken pasta together that would go fantastic with this pesto. That's the next, uh, another episode. Sounds great. Sounds great, all right. So if you like the idea of quickies with two Aussie dads, like our videos down there, subscribe down there. But just remember, I'm Doug. I'm Jason. And we're two Aussie dads. If you're up for a quickie, so we. No worries, so I think we can back it away with that. Yeah. Hmm. I like pesto. Try it, you'll love it. We're done.